Brought to you by a paid advertisement for Tailspire. The son of a great monster hunter, Stan Velsing. Hey? Along with his two companions, the famed Master Inquisitive Nachdos Cheeses, and I, Glorf, an artificer of middling skill, had acquired a spelljammer. An interdimensional spaceship fueled by magic! Spell slots. We were on the planet Athos to sink our dimensional crystal to a touchstone. Basically, we had to touch a crystal to a big monolith so we could travel back here in seconds instead of weeks, which is an incredibly valuable ability, and it would have been simple enough to do, except there were complications. One, there was a snake temple. Two, the touchstone was in the basement of the snake temple. Three, the temple was heavily guarded. And four, even if we got in, the basement was magically locked. Except for a short time at noon each day, in which the snake priest took a procession from the rooftop of the temple, around the sides, down to the basement, to sacrifice a human being. Wait, what? Human sacrifice, Stan. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, yes, right. Think of it as a compliment. I think of you as people. Jesus Christ. We managed to, undetected, get into the temple, sync up the crystal, free a bunch of prisoners, and kill a torturer that we found in the basement. All that while the procession was making their way down from the roof at noon. But we, maybe, we miss, we miscalculated time, slightly. At this rate, we would run into the procession on our way to the exit and probably die. It's a lot of priests. It's, it's, it's not good. Luckily, we had a foolproof backup plan. Oh no, the prisoners have escaped. Uh, uh, whatever, we'll, we have to catch them. Nailed it. Remember that torture I mentioned before? I used a disguise spell to mimic his form. Nachdos? In my bag. The great Stan Velsing, I made him invisible. I even had the foresight to make it look like the torturer was wearing my regular scale mail as to not raise any questions about the metallic sounds I was making. Welcome to this animated spell book. Hold person. Surprise! It turns out that iron is more valuable. It's like the most valuable shit in all of Dark Sun, which means that they saw their torturer running out of their base with the equivalent of 80 pounds of diamonds. I don't know if they even saw through my disguise or if they were just like, oh yeah, he's definitely stealing. Wisdom save or you're paralyzed. It's pretty fucking brutal, but but it's probably worth mentioning that Hold Person is often derided as a little bit of a risky cast. The target has to fail a wisdom save to be affected, plus its concentration, plus the target can also end the spell with a successful save at the end of one of their turns. So I rolled a failed save when they cast it, got paralyzed, and then on my turn, in the same round, I got another chance to save, which I failed. The paralyzed condition, though, is fucking intense. It's rough. You can't take actions or reactions. Attack rolls have advantage on you, and any hit from a creature within five feet is a critical hit, not to mention you automatically fail strength and dex saves. In practice, that meant that I was critically hit by nine snakes. I failed a lot of con saves, so I got poisoned. Then uh, I got hurt more, and I lost concentration. Stan reappeared ah. with 7 temp HP, and he tried to break the Archpriest's concentration with an arrow, uh, but the dice uh, fucked us. It was fine. I had a plan, though. These guys were crowded around me. Bunch of snakes, bunch of cultists. All I had to do was make one of my saves, and then I'd be able to do an AoE. I failed by one, and I got critted by nine snakes again. First I got knocked out, then I got bit six more times. I died. I fell to the ground, and then in one last act of feeble defiance to these snake-worshipping edgelord losers, I pushed my bag out the door. As Stan Velsen <laughs> died a horrific death, Nashtos popped out of the bag and made a mad dash for the jammer. He ran like the wind, he lost his pursuers, and he made it. The little bastard survived. Luckily, he made it out with the crystal, too. But when he got to the controls, cold... Horrible truth set in. Nachtos was a rogue. And spelljammers are fueled by magic! Spell slots. Which is another way of saying that he now lived on a murder bug desert hell planet.
Where's he been? Making episodes. There's going to be a new episode on this channel every Thursday till midway through June, at which point hopefully we're going to keep making them. Do you like these sorts of ideas? Do you subscribe to these sorts of notions? Then I'll see you next Thursday. Thanks for watching this animated spellbook brought to you by paid advertisement for Tailspire. Tailspire is my favorite VTT. It's the only way that I play D&D online and it doesn't handle systems, but it does handle maps, miniatures, map building and movement better than any other VTT on the market in my opinion. It's finally in early access on Steam, so you can buy it through a link in the description. Thanks to Crone Franz for doing an awesome job, to Elliot for running the game, to Peter O'Morgan for being Nacho's cheeses, and finally to Puffin himself for playing as Stan Velsing. 